गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ चैप्टर हेलो एल्स एंड हेलो एरिन्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट द आई यू पी एस सी नेम ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड दिस कंपाउंड इज गिवन टू अस लेट्स राइट द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इट विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स यू कैन सी ऑन सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ पोजिशन नाइट्रो ग्रुप इज अटैच सो द नेम विल बी टू फोर डाई नाइट्रो क्लोरो बेन्जीन नेक्स्ट इज सी एच टू सी एल सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच सी एच टू बी आर नाउ वी नीड टू स्टार्ट द नंबरिंग फ्रॉम बी आर दैट इज वन टू थ्री फोर देन द नेम विल बी वन प्रोमो फोर क्लोरो प्यूट टू ई नेक्स्ट इज on the benzene ring cl is attached ch3 is attached and one more cl is attached so the numbering we need to start from this 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the name will be 2 5 dichloro toluene because ch3 group is attached with the benzene ring and what we call it as toluene next is ch3 chbr CH two CH Cl CH three numbering will be one two three four five on second position Br is attached so the name will be two bromo four chloro pentane next is CH three C CH three CH three CH Cl CH three now in this you can see on second position Cl is attached and on third position two methyl groups are attached. so the name will be 2 chloro 3 3 dimethyl butane next is ch3 ch double bond ch single bond c ch3 br ch3 so the longest chain will be 1 2 3 4 5 5 now in this as you can see on fourth position br is attached and on the fourth position ch3 is also attached and on the second position there is a presence of double bond so the name will be 4 bromo 4 methyl pent 2 in i hope you have understood this now let's do the second question that is out of these two which is the example of benzylic halide now as you can see in this with the benzene ring ch is directly attached so this will be the benzylic halide next is which is the example of vinylic halide now vinylic is this or this this one will be the example of vinylic because you can see double bond and then halogen is attached now which one is the example of allylic halide this or this now allylic is double single so this will be the example of allylic halide next is identify the chiral molecule in the following chiral means that the group which is attached to the carbon they should be different so as you can see if we will see this carbon then with this carbon one ch2 is attached ch3 is attached one h will going to be attached and one cl and here cl is attached then another ch2 group will going to be attached so this will going to be the chiral molecule next is these two compounds are given to us and they are asking which will react faster by sn1 now in sn1 as you know the formation of carbocation will going to take place now in this tertiary carbocation formation will going to take place and in this secondary carbocation formation will going to take place as you know tertiary carbocation is more stable so it will going to be react faster by sn1 reaction next is which compound in each of the following pair will react faster in sn2 reaction with oh this or this first let's see this compound ch3br ch3i now you can see here i is attached and here br is attached and i is a good leaving group then br so this will going to be react faster 
in SN2 reaction with OH. Let's see these two. This is tertiary and this is primary. Here the halogen is more hindered and here the halogen is less hindered. So in this, this will going to be react faster in SN2 reaction with OH due to the less hindrance around the leaving group. Next is prepare 1 bromobutane from 1 butanol and butane 1 in. So let's take butanol and we need to prepare 1 bromobutane. So for this react it with HBr in the presence of acid. So H2O will going to come out and Br will going to attach here. Next is let's prepare 1 bromobutane from but1 but in. So take but1 in and again react it with Br in the presence of peroxide. Now in the presence of peroxide the negative part goes to that carbon which has higher number of hydrogen. So Br will go to this carbon and H will go to this carbon. So it will going to give us one bromobutane. So like this you can prepare one bromobutane from these two. I hope you have understood these questions. That's all for today. Have a nice day ahead.